These are some of the blokes I served with at Alamein. Sitting with them at the anniversary meeting and hearing Lily Marlene again, brushed four years away like days. When you've been through a thing like Alamein, you think you forget it, but you don't. It all comes rushing back on you, especially when there's Monty there to do the reminding. Here's a bit of his speech. But we'd had our orders. No surrender. Fight on to victory. And we obey, willingly. All the nations of the British Empire rallied to the call in the hour of danger. In Britain, the Home Guard was full. And it proved that the people, the temper of the people, was the same as it had always been. I'm afraid I wasn't thinking much about the clapping and the laughs. Everybody looked happy, mind you. But it's just that I expect they were thinking about the nights we sat round with nothing but the desert to look at and a good chance the next day would be the last. But I snapped out of it when Winnie got going. We didn't go for that Prime Minister and Field Marshal business in the desert, and we didn't stand for it here. Soldiers and uh, comrades, I thank you very much for your kindly welcome, and I must thank General Montgomery, for all the, uh, now coming to that later, <laughs> for all the uh, compliments uh, which he uh, paid me. It would all have been fine if I could only have stopped thinking about all the good pals we left behind in that blasted desert. All the same, I will say this, while ever there's a desert rat left, we'll never forget October 42 at Alamein. <laughs> 